this video I'll be talking about uh, retrosynthesis practice problems with the answer key and I have taken this PDF file from the internet so I'll try to explain the retrosynthetic analysis with the uh, synthesis and reagents in this video by the way my name is Fayaz if you are new and if you're watching first time my youtube channel this is my youtube channel about organic chemistry and some stuff related to research as well as PhD scholarships and admissions uh, how to apply for foreign scholarship and admission and uh, what is the procedure of that what are the requirements for that I have um, uh, made several videos regarding that and how to write an effective email to get the scholarship uh, so please have a look on my youtube channel you will find number of videos uh, related to uh, this content okay and i have several playlists in my youtube channel about uh, uh, natural product chemistry uh, organic name reactions organic reactions organic chemistry spectroscopy nmr spectroscopy ir spectroscopy uv visible spectroscopy and radio synthesis so question number one is draw a retro synthesis for how to make the compound shown below from starting materials with eight or fewer carbon atoms that is the question so this is the molecule how you are going to synthesize this first you need a retro synthesis right so the first step is the first step is to convert the OH group this one to a carbonyl group so that you can obtain the key alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl motif that is the product of an aldol reaction so what it's mean by is you first do FGI you oxidize this um, alcohol into a ketone that is the transformation that basically is being done here you are converting OH into ketone now if you see this is the alpha carbon where my hand is and that this is the beta carbon so the overall structure is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl motif next step you disconnect this ester from co linkage and the one side becomes oh alcohol and other side becomes this carboxylic acid this is a good disconnection point to retrosynthetically disconnect the ester to give you the alcohol which in the forward direction undergoes a fissure esterification reaction so you disconnect it from this position uh, then one side becomes alcohol and other side becomes acid and next step from here we know how to how to an aldol reaction retrosynthetically adds uh, add an OH to the beta carbon and then break the bond between the alpha and beta carbon to form a dicarbonyl so this is the uh, next step for retrosynthesis so you first do FGI of this double bond convert this double bond into alcohol that is this one and then you do a disconnection from this position then one side becomes carbonyl group and other side becomes the enolate so you disconnect this position cc bond so this side becomes ketone and this this side becomes the enolate side i can uh, count three saturated carbon atoms uh, between the two carbonyls in my intermediate which means that we can use a Michael reaction as a next step retrosynthesis so from here if you count the relationship between this carbonyl group and this carbonyl so the relationship between this and this carbonyl two carbonyl groups is one five dicarbonyl compounds so one two three four and five and you disconnect it from this position this becomes Michael acceptor and this becomes Michael donor and furthermore you can do retrosynthesis of this one the alpha beta unsaturated ketone now has less than eight carbon so that has been disconnected sufficiently we need to do a bit more work on the cyclohexenone uh, fragment luckily that has an alpha beta unsaturated carbon already in it uh, which we can disconnect via an aldol reaction so we are taking this molecule to do further retrosynthesis first we are converting this alpha beta unsaturated into alcohol and then we are 
ring opening this one uh, by doing CC disconnection into this fragment. Luckily this intermediate has three saturated carbon between the carbonyls which again points to a Michael reaction. So if you count the relationship between aldehyde and this ketone or if you count the relationship between two dicarbonyl compounds then it will be 1,5 uh, dicarbonyl compounds. So you disconnect it from this position. One side becomes Michael acceptor and one side becomes Michael donor. And now all these starting materials have 8 or fewer carbon atoms so we have succeeded. So if you see we have st uh, we are going to start synthesis from this very simple aldehyde and we did retrosynthesis of this very complex molecule. This is the beauty of retrosynthesis to break apart the complex molecule into very simple easily available cheap starting materials. Now let's do the synthesis of this molecule. Uh, synthesis is not given here but uh, I can tell you synthesis of this molecule so you react this, this fragment and this fragment together in the presence of a base you will get this compound and then in the next step you do intramolecular aldol condensation you will get this compound and then you do dehydration of this alcohol you will get this alpha beta unsaturated molecule and then you react this alpha beta unsaturated with Michael acceptor you will get this one and when you will react this compound in basic uh, conditions then you will get a uh, intramolecular aldol condensation you will get this molecule and again you have this alcohol you do dehydration you will get alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound and in this step you will react this OH with this acid you will get ester by a Fischer esterification and in the last step you can do reduction of this carbonyl group with sodium borohydride to alcohol make sure do not use the powerful reducing agent or do not use the metal based reagent if you are going to use metal based agent then it might reduce the double bond. If you are using a powerful reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride it can reduce this ester as well as this ketone. So use the mild reducing agent in the last, in the last step use the sodium borohydride to give you this final target molecule. This was the synthesis. If you are still unclear about synthesis then please drop down in the comments below in this video then I will get back to you. Okay, next molecule is this one. Make the following molecule from starting material with 12 or fewer carbons. Hint, you can leave the heterocyclic intact. So this is the question, question which is in the black. Now we have to do retrosynthesis of this complex molecule. This is a great molecule because there are so many places along the macro cycle that can be retrosynthetically disconnected. I show a few examples of that below. So if you see this one, number one, this is a Fischer esterification electronization. So this is the ester group. We can disconnect this ester group by CO disconnection. We have this OH group at three position to this ester. We can disconnect the CC bond that is aldol reaction. We can disconnect another aldol. We have a CC bond disconnection, another aldol reaction at this the ring closing metathesis we can do by ring closing metathesis this one and number five another ring closing metathesis this one so these are the five uh, disconnections that can be applied to this molecule to start synthesis from the simple starting materials we are going to focus on the disconnection that we have talked about in class the fissure electronization and the two aldol reaction and use each one in turn to break apart the ring. So first we are doing the Fischer esterification, this one red in color. We are disconnecting this molecule from this position. One side becomes OH and another side becomes carboxylic acid. Then we are applying aldol reaction. We are disconnecting this molecule from this position. This one, one side becomes this acid. Uh, this acid is taken outside and other side becomes aldehyde and next we are doing the second aldol from this position so we have aldehyde one side and ketone on the other side this is where this problem starts to get a little tricky the middle OH could have been a carbonyl 
that was attacked by an organometallic nucleophile. However, you would need to first protect the aldehyde group before doing that sequence so that the real aldehyde does not also get attacked by the organometallic nucleophile. So make sure you keep this point in your mind. And this is the protection of the acetal group, uh, acetal protecting group for the aldehyde, this one. In the forward direction, th this is a broadly applicable way to protect carbonyl compounds by treating them with a diol to generate a cyclic acetal. So you react these two molecules together to give you the protected uh, carbonyl group. And furthermore, you can do this disconnection by metathesis with the protected aldehyde in hand. We are set to do the next key retrosynthetic disconnection, electrophilic carbon and the nucleophilic carbon, this one. This gives me two starting materials, each of which has 12 or fewer carbon atoms. So we have succeeded here as well. Question number three, how would you synthesize the compound shown below from an aldo reaction? Draw the structures of both precursors at points. So this is the molecule, alpha beta unsaturated carbon compound. And we have both, uh, we have a procedure for this. Break the double bond, this one. Put, uh, put a hydroxyl on the beta carbon. This is the beta carbon. And then break the bond between alpha and beta carbon to form two carbonyl starting materials. So first convert this double bond into OH and then break the bond between CC and then you will get these starting materials which is a dimerization of the same molecule. So one thing to note here is that the starting material does not have the double bond in the position that you would expect i.e. it is not between the alpha and beta carbons however if you break that bond you can still put the OH on the beta carbon and that gets you right back to, in, to an intermediate that is straightforward to disconnect via an aldo retrosynthesis. Question number four, which is the next molecule. Provide a retrosynthetic pathway for the following target from simple readily available starting materials. This is the molecule. Here the trick is finding where the alpha beta unsaturated ketone is. We can get the alpha beta unsaturated ketone in two steps. Step one, oxidizing the OH to a carbonyl group. So first we first step of retrosynthesis, oxidize this OH into ketone. Next step is getting rid of the cyclopropane ring and converting it to the desired alkene during the Simon Smith reaction. In the forward direction, we can accomplish uh, accomplish this transformation with the Simon Smith cyclopropanation reaction. You are responsible for this transformation, but not for the mechanism. The mechanism involves a carbene intermediate. This is the Simon Smith reaction with methylene iodide zinc copper couple. Getting back to the retrosynthesis, now we have an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl that we can disconnect via an allo retrosynthesis from this. We first convert double bond into OH and then we disconnect this into two uh, carbonyl groups. And if you count the relationship between these two carbonyl groups, it's 1,5 dicarbonyl group. So we can disconnect 1,5 dicarbonyl in this way and we can follow the Michael retrosynthesis. So that was it from the question number four. Let's go back to the question five. The structure of testosterone acetate is shown below. This one, draw a retrosynthetic pathway to synthesize this, this compound from starting materials that have no more than 10 carbon atoms. So this is the molecule. This is pretty complicated. So let's take it, uh, let's take it one step at a time. So first, if you recognize this functional group, this is the ester. The easiest thing to get rid of this is the ester. To bring it back to an alcohol that was esterified via Fischer esterification. So the CO bond disconnection will give you this alcohol. We also have an alpha beta unsaturated ketone that we know how to deal with retrosynthetically. So you first convert this double bond into OH and then you do the aldol condensation type disconnection. And now you have 1, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1,5 dicarbonyl groups. Next step is a Michael reaction. So you disconnect this ring from this. Now you have three rings. 
started with four rings now you have three rings in the forward reaction the direction we will be able to form the inolate at the alpha uh, the position that we want the more substituted alpha current because this is the thermodynamic inolate now i can put a double bond between the alpha and beta carbons to give me another alpha beta unsaturated ketone this one you put the double bond here you can introduce by dehydration of alkanes dehydration of alkyl halides you put alkyl halide there and then you do and to answer question why i am allowed to do this in a retrosynthesis you can do anything in the reverse direction that is feasible in the forward direction so ask yourself can you selectively hydrogenate the double bond on the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl group to the saturated products sure in which case it is allowed transformation in the retrosynthetic direction once i do that i can deal with this like any other alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl group this is the carbonyl group we first do the functional group interconversion from double to alcohol and then we do the disconnection opening the ring we are disconnecting this alpha beta uh, bond and we can do a michael reaction later on one two three four five so the relationship between these two carbon groups is one five we do well, one five disconnection to give you this very simple starting material so as you can see that how a retrosynthesis retrosynthetic analysis helped us to discon do disconnection of this molecule and these are the very important molecules and in terms of the exam point of view in terms of entry test preparation i hope you got the clear concept and the good practice problems for retrosynthesis along with their answers but if you have any problem regarding the synthesis of uh, these molecules then please let me know um, i will explain the synthesis if you are still not sure how to do the retrosynthesis of these molecules oh sorry if you are not sure about the synthesis of these molecules that's it in this video thanks thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share the link with your friends take care bye bye